Good evening and welcome back to Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Simidar. For the ninth straight week, the Mississippi State Bulldogs have found a place inside the college football playoff top 25 rankings after the latest poll dropped last night. Dogs checking in at number 21 despite their 6-4 and four record, just 2-4 and four within the SEC. But you don't have to look very far as to why a four-loss team could crack the top 25 with still three weeks left in the year. That's because all four of MSU's losses come against current top 20 teams, Alabama, LSU, Florida, and Kentucky. In 28 total CFP rankings, the Bulldogs have shown in 19 of them the fourth highest total in the SEC. Now, as for the playoff contenders, not much has changed from last week. As a matter of fact, the top 10 remaining the same for the first time in the playoff rankings era. Firmly planted at the top, undefeated Alabama. Clemson comes at, at number two. And then a sizable gap back to third-ranked Notre Dame and fourth-ranked Michigan. Georgia, Oklahoma, and LSU lurk in the event anyone else slips up. Other SEC teams include Florida at number 13 and Kentucky at number 17. On Tuesday night, Braves manager Brian Snitker was named the National League Manager of the Year. The Braves made a return trip to the postseason for the first time since 2013 with their 90-win NL East crown run that ended in the NLDS round against the Dodgers. Snitker became the first Braves skipper to win the award since Bobby Cox did in 05, and he spoke of the surreal moment. I'm very grateful. I, I, I said <clears throat> earlier, I think this is, um, while I'm honored, uh, I'm blessed to uh, have this award. I, I think it goes, uh, it's an organizational award. I, I, I've won these in the minor leagues, um, and I, I think it's all about what we've done as an organization. If I wasn't sitting here right now, it'd feel really, you know, it'd still feel really good. I mean, it, and I've said before, it kind of validated everything that I was trying to accomplish. Because um, I'm all about them guys. I mean, they're, they're the ones that make it fun to come to the ballpark. They're the ones, they're, they're why I'm here. Well, it all comes down to this, the NASCAR championship. It'll be decided this weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. And four drivers still have a shot at the Monster Energy Cup. Kevin Harvick has a series best eight wins this year. And with one more, he would clinch the title. Being down there and, and knowing how much is on the line, uh, for the championship, you, you have to pay attention to Homestead. Plus, it's it's a very unique racetrack in in how you drive it because it's so much different than than the mile and a half racetracks that we go to all year. So, um, it's just a just a place that we've been fortunate to have good success, and and hopefully that continues this week. The marquee matchup of the NFL season was supposed to feature a pair of explosive offenses in Mexico City on Monday, but the NFL announced yesterday that it has moved the Chiefs and Rams game to Los Angeles. Horrid field conditions, as you see in this video, prompted the move from Azteca Stadium to the L.A. Coliseum. Monday night's game will still kick off at 7.15 and air on ESPN. But the big question I have is Mexico City blessed to have the NFL. Two great teams yeah. come and they can't even get a field ready. Come on now. Yeah, I didn't, but I heard that was from like the Shakira concert. There's yeah, I heard that they had Shakira. some events there Something and there. some rain. But still, I mean, come on, you got to get Excuses. that together. <laughs> get it together. Mexico City, what is going on? 